La Liga is the competition that we're featuring in our match today. I'm Martin Tyler. Hello to you all. Alan Smith is with me. Today, Atletico Madrid will play Celta Vigo. that Antoine Griezmann made the most of his switch to Atletico Madrid. Very important player for them in the 14-15 campaign. Two important goals last time out, really good. The Atletico Madrid lineup. Juan Fran starts with Felipe Luis as the fullbacks, and it's rounded off the team with these two strikers. Celta will play like this today. This is their 11 players. Well, we've gone with a 4-3-3 formation here for them. Is that the way you see it, Alan? Yeah, I mean, it can be adjusted. It could almost be a 4-5-1 if they decide to come over all defensive, this team. But uh, if they're on the front foot, that three up front can cause the opposition back four some problems. So close in the 13-14 season, Atletico Madrid to the double of winning La Liga and winning the Champions League on the verge of it. That will probably haunt them for a while, uh, but nonetheless it can't take too much luster away of that season. And, and moving on, they lost some of those players and they're still strong. Yeah, they managed to replace quality with quality and I think it's the attitude of the players that they bring in is, is number one concern. They've got to be willing to, to work the socks off for the team. If they're not, then they won't get a place in this side. Atletico Madrid, interesting side, Alan. It's been uh, it's been plain sailing for them up until this point. But you know what? When you see yourself at the top of the table at this stage of the season, whether they can actually go all the way to the finishing line and whether they doubt their title credentials, I just wonder whether that's going to be the case with this side. Options now for the pass. Keeps it going. Menace to it. Well, the ball deserved perhaps a better response from his teammates in the middle. The defender got there first, though. Aspas. Atletico Madrid winning possession. side of the post but only just <laughs> strong powerful clearance possibly booking this He's cut out that pass, it wasn't an accident, he read the mind of the opponent. Cabral. Daniel Vaz. Alito. an easy interception because the pass wasn't really a very thoughtful one. Fernandez. Oriana. Matty Fernandez. Turnover there that we didn't expect. Hernandez. Daniel Vaz trying to switch on the attacking power in this situation. 
foul by Gabby. I don't know why he was shooting from there, to be honest with you. Now, if you are going to shoot from that distance, you've got to do a much better job than that. At least make the keeper work. Diego Godin. Okay. Lost the ball, it's a poor touch. Daniel Vass. Hugo Mayo. Oriana. He's got that through clever reading of the game. Intercepting and getting possession back for his team. the ball behind really he's moved in trying to please pass the challenge he made the block Hugo Mayo Oriana so it's half time and we're still waiting Atletico Madrid start the second half. Oh, it's safe to play it back to the goalkeeper. He's good with his feet. Felipe Luis. Daniel Vaz. Steady at best in the first 45 minutes, still 45 minutes to go, of course. The shot's on! Oh, it's a corner. Why that deflection? And he's met it with his head. Oh, it's gone for a corner. Comes out with a punch to clear the danger. Well, that's a comfortable save from the header. Yeah, that's a poor effort from the lad, and really should have worked the keeper more than that. Gabby. One for out. Griezmann. Brilliant football from this team. Fernandez! Shots on here. Goal! Atletico Madrid. Oh, those kind of rebound goals. I used to love getting them because it's all about anticipation. A good look here again by the replay of the goal. Diaz. Confident quality on the ball. Well, he tried to find his man, but he's only put the ball into touch. Okay. That will be a free kick. Has shown the player a yellow card. Yeah, and that player's just got to be careful now. Fair portion of the match to go. Matty Fernandez. The tackle there is successfully done. Oriana. Okay. The players limbering up for the away team. Substitution in the offing. Now the shot. Well, he's had a go. You don't buy a ticket, as they say. And, uh, fair play to him for having a crack. Oh, 
So let's have a look at the possession stats on the screen now. There they are. Yeah, very close. I think we could probably tell that without even looking at the figures. Not much to split these two sides. He's gone and won the ball with a very good tackle. Nolito! That move nipped in the bud by the raising of the flag from the assistant. To me, like the timing of the pass and the run was spot on, but closer inspection. No, he was off. Felipe Luis. And it's out of play. manager indicating he wants to make a substitution now still as we are on the scoreline but there's still time even this late in the game for a twist to the tail it's noticeable that the home supporters are trying to help the team in this situation they're encouraged by the lead but they fearful perhaps that this team might lose it well they won't want to give anything silly away they Opposition are chasing the ball, trying to get it back and trying to get back into this match. Okay. A decent effort, just just off target. Yeah, unlucky because uh, he got some power behind the ball, just not the direction. Penalised here. And there's a yellow card here for the player from Atletico Madrid, and he's going to have to live with that for the rest of the game. His assistant there, just the yellow. The number's gone up. As far as added time is concerned, it's four. No, the fans here not happy with that. They prefer to hear the final whistle, maybe a reflection of how this game's going. 